Hello, now we're going to play a deck that was sent to me from a buddy of mine. Um, my buddy e Ely has been having a lot of success with this list, and he's almost a world champion, so he's world champion in my heart. So we're going to jam We're gonna jam this list he sent me. Uh, he's been messing around with it. You can tell it's been tweaked by him because the numbers are wild. He always has wild numbers, but... That's like what he does. Let me turn off my face so you can see the sideboard here for a sec. So, we got Bowmasters, one random Miser's Gemstone Mine. If you're on the draw, I board this in. Essentially, it's a Gorios Vengeance deck where you are Gorios. You're dumping Atraxa. You have a bunch of different ways to dump it. You can dump it through... Oh, this should be... You could dump it through a bone shards. You could jump it through the archaeologist, which basically comes into play mill three. It blocks Ragavan. It's a kind of sweet card. You could dump it with Fable, and you have Ephemerates for grief. You could Ephemerate the Atraxa after the Gorios, and you could play the One Ring to stay alive to play an Atraxa to Ephemerate the Atraxa. Right. So there's a lot going on here. Ely has been crushing it with this deck. So we're going to see if it works out, and we're going to jam it in a league. But first we must drop from this old league. Here we go for the first game. So we probably can't, right? We can't keep this. Let's mulligan. Okay. So what are we doing with this hand? We're really not doing much with this hand either, right? We can't. Yeah, we don't do anything with this hand either. A weird deck all right so at least we can keep this we'll put back the ephemerate and the ephemerate and we'll be done and this can get the abzan triome so we have abzan and we have america's triome oh boy don't be a hater ryan don't like hating ryan all right, good. It's good to play against a counterspell deck when you're playing a janky combo. All right, let's draw a card. I guess we're going to fetch Abzan combo here, Abzan Triome, and then Abzan Triome plus this lets us cast this next turn. <clears throat> let's change our title. Uh, modern, modern, modern reanimator. Okay. All right, we're taking the one here. Ragavan. Okay, so now we get Abzan Triome. And we can put this into play Depth. And we binding the Ragavan. Get out of here, monkey. Okay, off to a good start. We have another binding next turn. All right, so this thing's not going to be delirious, hopefully. I guess they still have a land drop. They go land bolt. Okay. Still no delirium. Let's see if they're going to bolt us for the delirium. Hell yeah, they're going to bolt us. Got to get in for six. Um... <laughs> All right, we're at 12. Let's see what we draw here. Uh, we need to... When Fluja Archaeologist enters the battlefield, mill three cards, you may put a non-creature, non-land card from among them and put it into your hand. Non-creature, non-land. So, we could play this and just mill three, but that doesn't do anything. I think we need to either Thought Seize them to make sure they don't have a Merc Tide, or we need to just Binding this. I think we should just Binding that and move on. They do have a Merc Tide here. We might be in some trouble, but we're in some trouble anyway. Oh, good. They have a Merc Tide. It's only a 5 5, which is, you know. I think that we can. We can Thought Seize ourselves to put the Attracts in the graveyard. Or we can Thought Seize them and take a Counterspell, but then we're on a two turn clock. Uh, we could Thought Seize ourselves and put the Attracts in the graveyard, but then we just can't beat a Counterspell. 
I guess our best bet is to thought seize ourselves and just put the attracts in and kind of hope that they don't have a counter spell. Looks like they have a spell pierce that we aren't going to be able to beat. Looks like they've got a spell pierce. We kind of have to do that if we thought seize them. I guess we should have thought seized them the prior turn instead of binding on the Murktide. But it's kind of hard to beat a deck like this when you go to five. All right, so we got to see if they were bluffing. Gas Gorios on this. Counter spell. All right, well, we're playing all these cheeky jank shit and they just get wrecked by counter spell. All right, let's bring in these. I don't think we're ever going to resolve the one ring here. This is just not going to... Let's bring in pending to answer some stuff. Let's cut another one ring. Let's... All right, let's try this a little bit leaner. I don't think resolving a one ring is going to be what we want to be doing. We could bring in the soul guide lanterns to pressure them and kind of stop them from doing merc tides, but... All right, so what do we got here? We got garbage. We do have some interaction, so I'm going to keep it. We have two Triumphs. We'll start with Abzan Triumph here. Maybe I should have started with this Triumph in case I draw the Archaeologist, but you never know. Okay. Okay. Island. Preordained. Unfortunately... Our opponent may be playing the card Blood Moon, which may be an issue for us. All right, Pentat Prism. Well, let's Pentat Prism here. Get ourselves a little bit ahead on mana. Then we'll be hard casting this Grizzlebrand. This is a little bit of Blood Moon protection from the Pentat Prism here. Okay. Blood Moon's your favorite card, PT. Your absolute favorite card. Preordain. All right, that's fine. So now we need, like, a grief. Mm -hmm. All right. What do we got here? We got another ephemerate. Oh, boy. Well, at least we can get to a position where we have to move to discard here pretty quick. One, two, three, four, five, six. So as long as our opponent doesn't do anything, we can just dump the the Grizzlebrand here in another turn. Well, this is good, because next turn we could discard the Grizzlebrand. And then we'll have double Gorios at instant speed. Okay. One, two, three. Magus of the Moon. Um, I suppose that I will float a white mana. And then we'll have Swamp Mountain, so it'll be reduced by three. Now we can just not binding this and just hold and discard. I think we do that. I think we just go to discard here and discard the Grizzlebrand. Oh, that's actually really good too. But let's just go to discard. Let's go to discard, discard the Grizzlebrand. And now they'll only have one single counterspell up. So we'll be able to resolve the Grizzle... Like, we'll be able to Gorios to block this. So how does Split into Arcane work? So essentially, let's say you cast this Gorios Vengeance. You could splice onto Arcane this one. And so, like, here's the Gorios Vengeance on the stack. You splice into Arcane the other one. And then, so you'll get two Gorios Vengeance when the first one resolves. And then the second one will still be in your hand. Does that make sense, Ryan? Okay, so we're going to go one, two, Gorios. So I could splice this here, but if they counter the original copy, then it won't work. We're going to go cast, boink. So they'll have to have a counter spell here, but they only have two blue to do it. Okay, so they're going to cast a counter spell. This is all part of the plan. Now we're going to go remove a black. Remove a colorless, cast Gorio's Vengeance. Now, first things first is we're going to draw seven. Now we're going to... I'm going to do this now 
before... I was going to ephemerate it before blocks. So that way they won't have mana to spell pierce this. Okay. All right. We did it. So I think we just submit. So we are able to win a game with this. Okay, so we should have brought in the Grace Glacial Caverns. We should have done that. And we should draw lands. Um, okay. We can keep this. Do we put back the Grief? Or do we put back the land here? I think we put back this land, and then we go turn one, Thoughtseize ourselves. And then we just wait to draw a black card, and then Grief them. Thoughtseize ourselves, discard the Atraxa. And now we're just looking for a black card to grief. Let's do that. Let's go. Thought sees us. Discard a track. So. BT's here to help. He's here to help. So now we pitch the grief. Pitch the bone shards. Wink. Now, if they counterspell this, they have to have two counterspells. If they have two counterspells, we're in trouble. <laughs> Thank you, Vitagray. That's very kind of you. Thank you for the 17 months. I appreciate that. So we're going to grieve here. And we're going to... Hopefully, they only have one counterspell. And we can take it. Counterspell, spell pierce, force of negation. Well, motherfucker. That complicates things. Life became a lot more complicated. All right, we'll take the counterspell. Uh, drat. Okay. That hand's pretty good. That hand is pretty good. All we gotta do is play around a spell pierce and a force negation. That's not too bad. We can do that. Oh, that's actually kind of a good draw. Except for they have the lightning bolt, but that's okay. Oh, that's an interesting bolt. I guess they have a Merc Tide here. Okay. Uh, I guess we have to get... Swamp here. And play Bowmasters. I think we're dead. I don't think we're getting through their stuff. We'll ping them here. They have Force Negation plus Spell Pierce up. Maybe I need to just save this in case I drew a Grief. But I don't see us beating it. Yeah, I don't see us. I don't see us winning. I don't see us beating this deck. Force Negation plus Spell Pierce. I guess we have to draw a, thought a second Thoughtseize, which doesn't exist in our deck. Maybe I needed to save this for a Grief. But I believe we're about to be killed. Are we dead? I guess we go to their turn so they can't pitch the Force of Negation. Or we do it on their turn. Okay. Because if we do it now, they could just pitch cast Force of Negation and then hold up the Spell Pierce. So we'll wait for them to attack with the Murktide, and then we'll play the Atraxa as a blocker. And we'll move to blocks with the Atraxa. Okay, now we're gonna go Gorios cast. Target Traxa. Okay. Now we're gonna crack this. We're going to get an island. Then we're going to cast Gorios. Trigger. Okay, we want uh Let's see. We want Flood Crypt. We want Artifact. We want Sorcery of Gorio's Vengeance. Okay. So let's get the free ones first, right? Let's get Blood Crypt. Let's get Fable. Let's get Gorio's. Let's get Bone Shards. Let's get Atraxa. Holy shit. So we get Sorcery, Instant, Artifact, Enchantment, Sorcery. Oh, that's pretty. This is pretty good. Okay. So we're going to get Atraxa, Bone Shards, Blood Crypt, Fable, Feluge, uh, Gorio's Vengeance, Pentad Prism. Okay, done. And now we're going to block. 
Wow. Okay. Well, Merktide sucks, and we're going to crush it. Okay. So... This thing has Death Touch, too. So we just Gorios and attack? Okay. Yay! Deck's great. Apparently, you just need to draw perfects. All right, so what do we got here? We got Grief Ephemerate. Okay, I guess we're gonna be, I guess we're gonna be Scam. Uh, Exile. Okay, let's take a peek. Uh, hmm. Mine Tower, I guess we're gonna take the map, oink. And then we're going to take uh, Stirrings or Karn. I guess I'm just going to take Stirrings. And then next turn we take the Karn. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's get all this. What's actually left in their hand? Gone, 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 gone. Their hand is... This is their hand? Karn, Karn. Mine Tower Forest. Okay. All right, and this stupid Gigantha's not here either. No, Ryan, no. I want talking. I want people to talk. I want to talk. I want to talk to people. You don't want to sit in solitude. I encourage people to backseat. Let's talk about the game. Let's make it interesting. Okay, so let's get rid of Karn the Great Creator. Liberated is a hell of a card here. Let's just nuke the creator here for now. Right, let's shock this in. Let's try this archaeologist. All right, let's mill three. Uh, I guess I'll take a ring. Okay. You'll do the turn. Yeah. Hopefully they are. So they played the tower. This is these are the cards we know. So we're gonna oh, another archaeologist. So we have an attracts in the graveyard. We're just looking for Gorios. Guess we'll take a Fable. Okay. Put this into play tapped and attack you. Four three. All right. So next turn we have the One Ring. Hopefully they didn't draw a Natural Tron. That would be depressing. Oh good. I'm not depressed. Ugh. Tank 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 Tron Carnu. What's up, Matt? Tron just doing Tron things. They're probably gonna hit the Grief. All right. Now we need to draw is Gorios. All right. Well, let's get a Swamp here. Let's get a basic Swamp. Actually, we should just shock ourselves, really. Let's get Swamp and let's go one, two, three. We could play the Fable here, but they're gonna put a Worm Coil Engine in play next turn. So let's get this ring action going. Wink. Okay. Trillion, thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining. We are playing a Gorios Vengeance brew that my buddy sent to me. We're doing a bunch of weird shenanigans. A lot of weird shit going on in this brew. But that's okay. We like weird shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hopefully they exile here. Mm -hmm. We don't read. No, we're, we're, no, we don't read. We don't read. Okay, so if this goes down and hits the ring, that's good for us because it's gone forever. Reading is reading is overrated. I just play magic off the pictures. I look at the picture of a card, and I think if it's good or not based on the picture. That's why I can't play with cards like the full art. Uh, so stupid. My black source. Oh, you jerk. You jerk. Trellion. <laughs> Trellon. Is that better? Trellon, MTGO. Trellion. One, two, three. What do you got? Matt? So, anyway, you play Yogmoth. I love Yogmoth. What are they going to get here? They got a Sundering Titan. Oh, good. Uh, okay, so we can't draw any cards. I guess we can ephemerate. We need to draw a mana source. Shit. 
I guess we can ephemerate one of these idiots. Uh, binding. Okay. No, it costs too much mana. Yeah, but I mean, like, we got some time. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna be toast. Just gonna be toast. God, what a silly deck. All right, let's go Alpine Moon, Alpine Moon, Alpine Moon. Let's cut the bone sh oh. Binding doesn't seem very good in that they can just get rid of it as they please. The One Ring doesn't seem very good. Uh, we want the Alpine Moons. I guess we can keep the Bindings. But they do have so many ways to tutor up a Sages. We could bring in Bowmasters. I don't think I want to do that. We could do the Breach. But giving that, if, if we get to 5 mana, they're probably going to have, right? If we get to 5 mana. I guess that's on me. I should have taken. I mean, we could hit a map. Exactly a map. Uh, let's just do the Alpine Moons for now. Alpine Moon's in over the ring. That'll be our sideboarding for now. Can't believe they just natty drew Tron. It's so annoying. So annoying. Where is Ely to side? Ely would be like Alpine Moons and then draw them. He would say board in Alpine Moons and make sure you draw them. Yeah, but I mean you have to do that to play Binding, right? Binding is the is like the key. Uh, I suppose we're keeping. We're just going to go Triome, Alpine Moon. All right, play the U, pass the turn. If we draw a black card, we'll be in a great spot. Map. I guess we're just going to Grief Ephemerate, right? Grief, pitch. Uh, ephemerate. Oink. Get out of here. Get out of here. Um, I don't want them to know that they have to expedition map for the Beseju. So I'm not going to play the Alpine Moon yet. I guess there's no way around it, right? Because they're going to crack it regardless next turn. They play the Power Plant. But they don't actually have the Mine, which is kind of cool. Do I want to ephemerate? Do I want to do this? Or do I want to put pressure on them? I think I want to hit their hand. I think I do hit their hand. Get out of here. So, we're going to sh... We won't have green, so I guess if we do this. So, we're going to play Alpine Moon. We're going to name... Yeah, but the problem is, like, they have to get Binding or they have to get their tower. So we're just going to name Urza's Mine. We're going to name the one that they don't have. Because, like, this way, if they draw, like, a, a whatever, we're going to name Urza Mine. Because I don't want to turn these into, like, lands that they can use. We could Binding this, then make them crack it for the one thing and then play this. But the, either way, they're going to be two fetches away, right? One fetch for Beseju, one fetch for Ma. Let's see what they end up getting here. Let's see, what are they getting? They got a Basagui. A Basagui. Okay, so... Chromatic Sphere, this is their draw. <laughs> Probably not, but at the same time, like... I can't even hard cast the Grief. I can't even hard cast the Grief. Yeah, this mana base is a there's a train and it got wrecked and then it became this mana base uh at least they're gonna kill my thing and i'll be able to get another black source i don't think i get the abzan triome because that way i think i just get watery grave uh i don't really want to i guess we'll get the shrine If I draw the Abzan thing, I could cycle it, or if they play the one thing. So they shouldn't have... Oh, they just ripped a mine. I love I love that for them. That makes me exceedingly happy that they drew a mine. I was afraid that they weren't going to get Tron immediately. Now well, let's just Basagui that. Uh, so we know nothing about their hand. And hopefully we can grief them. 
and get something crazy as this. Sick. <laughs> hated this deck? Yeah, me too. I've hated Tron for a long time. Alright, so we just have to watch them draw Ulamog and kill us, and we'll be fine. <laughs> Do they discuss you more than actual Tron itself? Because... Awesome. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. They're gonna get Ensnaring Bridge. Yep. We need to draw a Leyline Binding. Uh, the other card in their hand is the Mine. I kinda like Tron. Well... It's just that they have died. Uh, I guess I should have saved the Leyline Binding instead of getting the Gigantha, but I would have been at like 12 already so it's kind of rough i mean they could just get a walking ballista here and just wreck me with it Sundering. on the bright side it's going to destroy their forest so everything's going to be wonderful we got them right where we want them right where we want them yeah get that forest out of here yeah take that forest why am i playing this out i'm gonna get another besaju Sanctum. I guess I can go land. I guess they're going to just be able to wish for Karn. Guess if I draw a red land, but I think both of my... No, I have one more red land. I have the Saker Foundry. But... Get out of here. See, this Karn wishes for something scary. Like, I bet this gets Walking Ballista. It's not over. It's not over. Alright. Now what we need is Leyline Binding. Oh, Leyline Binding isn't helping. Alright. This gets us red. Which gives us this. So next turn they could just Karn Midas and get Walking Ballista. Make it for a million. Sanctum gets Sanctum gets Ulamog and then we're in trouble. Let's see if they do that. Yup. I'll scoop to Walking Ballista. I'll scoop to the Walking Ballista, but I have to see if they don't get Walking Ballista. They get something dumb. Walking Ballista. Alright. Now I have to draw Leyline Binding for the one thing. And then they're going to get Ulamog with the thing. We just don't have the clock. We just didn't draw a hand that actually threatened them in a meaningful way. We just derped around with grief. And that's not enough to stop them from drawing Natural Tron. That sucked. That was unfortunate. Uh, Alright. I guess we're... I don't really want to go to 15... I want to hold on to this. Maybe I can use it on myself. So let's just chill. Let's just chill. Get an Abzan Triome. Then we have Leyline Binding next turn. Okay. So now we can Binding. Now we have Binding up. And... This is a pretty good spot for us. Okay, so it's Triome v. Triome, and they have Karuga. Oh, boy. Karuga. Sure. Uh, I'm going to Thought Seize them, I think. I don't want them to play... Fable, Fable, the One Ring. Uh, I guess let's take the One Ring out of here. Yield to the turn. So their hand is two Fables. Apparently, it is a Karuga that's doing a lot over there. But we'll be able to grief away the other Fable. Alright, let's draw Fallujah Guy. Nope. One, two, three, four. Uh, let's take this Omnath out of there, I think. Alright. 
so now they get dead gone, play another fable. This is not a good spot for us to be in, but maybe I should have mulliganed this opening hand. Ring's not gonna get banned. They're not gonna ban Ring. They should, but why didn't they just dead that? Why didn't they just dead the grief? Whatever. They don't respect their own guy. All right, we drew an Atraxa. Let's binding their ring. We could try and get cute and wait for them to take a point of damage off their thing, but I don't think we want to be that person. I think we need to just get it out of there. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. We need one more land to come into play. Binding my binding. They didn't have that a turn ago. That's unfortunate. I guess that's why they didn't want to. Mm. Do we have a planes in this deck? Is a bit... Yup. The problem is if you ban grief, you should ban fury. But they've chosen that they don't want to ban. Oh, so modern's gonna be the way it's gonna be for a while. It's not that powerful compared to some of the other things you could be doing in the format. I mean, it just takes these mid-range mirrors and it just becomes all about this. They they chose to buff Murktide and they're going to be like, we're going to give the meta time to auto-adjust and blah, 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 blah. And they're doing the yearly bans now, so... If you follow what they've said, they're just going to, like, let it go. But yeah, it's egregious. This card's egregious, but I don't think they're going to ban it. I agree. It is terrible. It's such an RNG high roll deck. It's not fun to play against. Nobody likes playing against it. Pretty miserable. Oh, Omnath. I don't think I can win this game. I guess maybe I can. If I play this and get lucky. Yeah. At this point, who the fuck knows what Wizards is going to do? Because their, their market is to EDH players. It hasn't been to modern players for a long time. All right. They've been selling to EDH players for the last long time now. Okay, so we want Bowmasters to stop them from drawing. Uh, and what else do we want? That's pretty miserable. I don't think Leyline Binding is going to be useful against them. I think they're just going to be able to answer it. So it doesn't seem like very good. We could bring in the Emrakul. That seems like it'd be pretty fun. Uh, let's cut a one ring. All right, would you like to play first? Yes. EDH peepers, yeah, EDH players, but so are modern players. We can't really keep this hand. All right, we can keep this. We'll put back the ring. Or we put back a land. We'll put back the ring. We'll be able to at least discard the lands off the fable. Alright, uh, let's put you into play. Depth. At least we know they're not going to do anything on turns 2 and turns 3. Perhaps we should have gone fetch land, fetch land, and not done anything else. So they can't ice us on this next turn too. Because if they ice us, it'll be super annoying. Oh, they didn't even have Alright, well, blink. Fable. Fable. They can binding this. Yeah. I tell my buddy and his my buddy's playgroup just proxy everything. They just proxy all the EDH cards. They're like, we're only going to play with each other. I don't want to spend $700, so let's just proxy. Teferi, eh? Okay. Um, let us discard land land. Pew, pew, pew. Pew. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. We got them on the ropes. Proxies, yeah. It's a good way not to give wizards your money. Uh, let's get the abs and triome. The only EDH players that hate proxies are... Uh, swing here. Oh, they didn't leave me on red. They said I got to participate in their... What do we got here? What are we doing? Endurance. Okay. 
Very annoying. But I'm glad I got that endurance out of their hand before something terrible happened to my Goryo's Vengeance thing. Alright, one, two, three, cycle you. Good, good, another Goryo's. Alrighty. So, yeah, yep. Guess I should have kept the ring instead of the land. Teferi, bounce the orc army. I could just kill your Teferi though, homie. Can we kill my reflection now? Good, 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 good. Good. This is going great. Oh, this is going terrific! Why do I play these shitty decks? Why do I let Ely talk me into being like, oh, this deck's great? I mean... We could, in theory, draw the Fallujah guy. Play the Fallujah guy. Right? Don't blame me, I voted for Mill. Nice. I mean, in theory, we draw the Fallujah guy. Right? We put a Grizzlebrand in the graveyard or something stupid. And then... We win. Oh, good. Atraxa. All right. At least it's not a land. Five cards in hand. I guess it's my mistake for putting back the ring. I should have kept the ring. Yeah, I know, right? We could have one more land. I'm not fetching, so we can draw the land. And through the breach, a better combo. I don't know. Karuga. Ugh. I get to draw four cards here. Sick. Awesome. You get to attack me for seven. I have to draw bone shards right now. If I draw bone shards, I have a chance. Neato. Right, uh, we're gonna do something weird. We're gonna keep, and we're just gonna go to discard. Unless they play a Ragavan. Uh, we can just go to discard, discard this. That's a Ragavan. No fear. We're playing Legacy now. This is a legacy deck. This is what you do in legacy. No, they took our triome. Oh, what jerks. Uh, that's our only green source in the entire deck the Ragavan just took. Love that. I love Ragavan so much. Ragavan took our only green source. Good. Yep. I could not agree with you more, Frey Frog. What's up, Gloomshot? Thank you. Our opponent's playing a weird version of the deck. Because they're playing all the Storm Giants. So this isn't Murktide. This is something else. Something evil. Something wicked this way comes. Okay. So we could grief here. To try and make sure our spells resolve. But we're better off just binding this on their turn. So we'll go to their turn. We'll crack this for a swamp. We'll binding the Ragavan on their turn, force them to spend mana, go to our turn, try and grief, try and get back Jizzlebrand. Try and do some jizzling. Alright, crack this for a swamp. Cast Leyline Binding. Now we get the Schmagavan. Cryptic Commando! Holy shit. What year is it that I've been cryptic commandoed? Alright. Well, let's do... Grief pitching grief. We're not in the 4 We won a match. Look at that. We won a match. I will be taking your... All these cards suck. I guess I'll take your lightning bolt. I should have taken your Orcish Bowmasters. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. 
Is it fine? Yeah, I guess it's fine. We should have taken the ball masters, obviously. I was not paying attention. I was talking shit. Just talking shit. As usual. Now they have Snapcaster Cryptic Command up. Oh, they didn't even play the ring. Alright, so we're gonna go... I guess we'll go Gorios. They'll Snapcaster... They'll Snapcaster Cryptic it. And then we'll use the other one. Oh, or not. Uh-huh. 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 We'll use the Grizzlebrand. And we didn't get an Ephemerate. But everything is fine still. Don't worry. Don't worry. Everything is fine. We'll discard this, and we'll discard this. Now, as long as they don't draw another counterspell, everything is awesome. Everything's still fine. We're going to get a Planes. And we're going to cast Corios on the Atraxa. Okay... Alright, so I should have taken the Bowmasters, and I just should have done it in response. Alright, we want Bowmasters in. Uh, I don't think we want the One Ring. We'll just shave some of these cards. Um, Bowmasters we want. We probably want Pending to deal with a Ragavan over, let's say, a Vable, and let's call it a day. Alright, what would you like to play for? Okay, we'll keep. I can't believe the Ragavan hit our only green source. We'll play Triome here. Um, we sh not, them not playing the Bowmaster was the it threw me. I should have just taken the Bowmaster. I forgot Grizzlebrand is a draw versus the. Uh, I'm not really on my A game today, in case you couldn't tell. Pretty, pretty, pretty not smart today. All right, let's get a swamp here. Let's play this Fallujah guy. All right, we want to hit. Uh, I guess we'll take it ephemerate. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Xander's Lounge. Uh, it's kind of it could be a good sideboard card. Um, let's get. And let's go. It could potentially be a good card. The problem with a lot of cards like that is that Yogmoth uses their graveyard in games two and three. And so, like, a card like that, people are already going to be attacking your graveyard. But it could definitely have potential. Very powerful effect. Mm -hmm. We got to get another double black here. Black, 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 black. Grief. All the counter spells. Falja. Uh, cycle. Okay, apparently our opponent sideboard sideboard out all their creatures. They know I have the ephemerate. Oh, I guess I'll use my ephemerate. Well, this guy got a lot of value. Like I got a force negation and a bolt out. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Good. Good, 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 good. Snapcaster bolt. Oh my god. In the year 2023, I just got Snapcaster bolted. Wow. What a world. Pending in the year 2023. 20, oh, I'm throwing this deck in the bin so fast. So fast. I'm going to yell at Ely. 
I'm gonna tell him stop giving me shitty decks, and then I'm gonna. No, I would never do that. We have an Orcish Bowmasters. Uh, we literally can't lose a game with this card. I'm gonna hold on to this bad boy. Maybe we can use it to kill a Schmagavan. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to this in case we have to uh, draw Fable. Oh shit, a Bowmaster. Pow, Bowmaster. Blink. Ely's the runner of world champion. He was second place at Worlds. He used to mess around with... Oh, motherfucker. He used to mess around with cut and uncut sheets and stuff, but... Yes. Yes. Yes, it does. We're hard casting Traxa. Oh, actually, we can't hard cast the Traxa. Because I cycled the goddamn Triome, so this is my only green in the deck. So we can't actually hard cast the Traxa. There's no more. We're going to hard cast Grizzlebrand. G Jizzle Daddy. Get the last fucking land out of the deck. So I could die to Bolt now. Alright. I cannot put into words how much I... Oh, get... Get Archered. Why would they cycle that? What the hell? They're just like, I'm tired of having this card around that kills you. I want to die to a Bolt Snap Bolt. It's been a long time since I've died to... Oh, good. It's been a long time since I've died to Bolt Snap Bolt. Wouldn't feel right if I did it. I guess I should attack with this. Bull House. I gotta save the Orcish Army to block a Ragavan or something. Uh, to block that card. No! <laughs> no, come on! I can't even cast it because I cycled the only black source. Oh, I hate this deck. I hate this deck. I can't stand this deck. We're getting rolled by ourselves. We're getting rolled by ourselves. Oh, good. Good. Bowmasters. Ah, uh, okay. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Obviously, this deck has a power, uh, strong... It could do some really powerful things if you draw the Nutter Butters. But, uh... It's not for me. It's not for me. Uh, not for me. You know? might be for some other people yeah 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 it's not for me uh not for me i think you could do this without this like this card's not what it used to be like you don't need these cards i think you could find ways to discard in these colors but it's okay uh it's okay i hope that's it for me that's it for me today. I hope you guys had a wonderful, have a wonderful day. Uh, I.